I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with your weather extreme video for Sunday, November the 1st. Hope everybody survived Halloween. And remember, don't forget, you needed to set your clocks back either at 2 a.m. or before you went to bed last night. And if you haven't done it, check those clocks out and make sure you're not going to be late. On the other side of the world, we have uh, a rather historical event going on. Tropical cyclone or typhoon Chapala uh, is uh, progressing rather steadily with it expected to come ashore in uh, Yemen uh, probably around uh, the late afternoon, early evening of November the 2nd. Uh, Chapala still remains a fairly significant uh, storm with uh, maximum winds around 105 knots and gusts to 130 knots, but it is expected to diminish as it continues its trek on a uh, west-northwest course and comes ashore. All right, let's get back to weather on this side of the earth, and uh, basically we're still dealing with this surface low over southeast Texas and southwest Louisiana. Uh, with a complex frontal pattern there, but the bottom line is we have lots of rain over the southeastern United States. That rain is also being fed by a uh, upper trough that is over Texas that is moving slowly, moving but very slowly, sort of uh, kind of in the tortoise ro realm. But it's also bringing lots of tropical moisture, as you can see, all the way from uh, central Mexico all the way across the northwestern Gulf and up into the southeastern U.S., and the result is, according to radar, we had a, a band of rain that runs roughly from about Meridian just to the south of Alabaster and over to near Anniston and Oxford. And that rain uh, band actually recorded, uh, according to radar estimates, on the order of one and a half to two and a half inches of rain. And we're going to get more rain today. Now, temperatures, temperatures came up nicely into the mid-60s yesterday, and that's where they've been. They're not moving much and not expected to move much for today, so don't look for temperatures to change a great deal. There's a look at our radar over the southeastern U.S., and the bottom line is we've got a great deal more rain to go before we get out of this wet pattern. Looking at the watch warning map, there are uh, the green areas where there are flash flood watches for much of today, and uh, the gray areas off to our northwest are dense fog advisories. QPF-wise, we're looking at another uh, three to five inches of rain in a band running from about Mobile uh, northeastward across North Georgia and into the western sections of North Carolina. So uh, it looks like uh, we could have some serious rains. The uh, excessive rainfall outlook shows a slight risk for some excessive rain running from about uh, southeastern Louisiana across the southern uh, two-thirds of Alabama, the northern half of Georgia, and into the Carolinas. And that is for day one. Storm Prediction Center is out looking at marginal risk for the southern half of Alabama for severe weather today. They did have a good number of thunderstorms down in southern uh, in southwestern Alabama and the uh, northwest Florida panhandle yesterday. Day two, the marginal risk shifts, as you might expect, uh, to uh, Georgia and South Carolina. And in the tropics, yes. Things are quiet, even though we have one month left in the tropical weather season for the Atlantic. All right, the 06Z GFS model run, and there's our surface map for today at midday 18Z, which is now noon. Don't forget that now that we've switched back off of daylight saving time. And uh, in the upper atmosphere, the trough and the closed low is slow to come out of Texas. But it will come out, as we can see on Monday. It uh, basically goes from a closed low to an open wave, and it moves out. So I expect by uh, the middle of the day we should see the rain ending, uh, and that will be a nice welcome treat. But don't look for a lot of sunshine right away. It looks like the clouds will hold tough. That uh, upper trough uh, moves on by, but slowly, uh, and we become more under a ridge late in the day on Tuesday. The ridge is the predominant factor for our weather pattern aloft on Wednesday and again on Thursday, but by Friday we're watching this upper trough off to our west and northwest that is headed our way, and that is uh, bringing um, a fairly nice front across from the eastern Great Lakes down across the eastern part of the Ohio River Valley and into southeast Texas. Looks like we'll have to introduce rain into the forecast once again for uh, the latter part of Friday, most likely, and the early part of Saturday. 
But fortunately, this trough is moving by fairly briskly as it is uh, embedded very nicely in the fast-moving westerlies. So it is expected to move by Saturday. Uh, that drags the front more or less down into our area where it's likely to wash out. And by Sunday, it's uh, now approaching the east coast. So we should see improving weather as we see a surface high over Illinois, bring some northeasterly uh, wind into the area, and that should bring some drier and cooler weather with uh, temperatures by Sunday, highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s. All right, looking out into voodoo country, uh, the weather pattern remains pretty active, which is basically what we expect uh, for November. Remember that November is our secondary severe weather season. Looks like we do have a shot at the potential for some severe weather around the 12th of November. This could be the 11th, 12th, uh, as we see a strong trough embedded in the flow moving across the Mississippi River around the 12th. That could spell a round of uh, st thunderstorms and rain and a possibility of some severe weather. We do see that this trough at the end of uh, the voodoo period, around 372 hours or the 16th of November, we do see that the GFS is indicating that this trough is a little further north, so its southern extent may be a little less, but it does indicate a front. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for Sunday morning. James will have the next one first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for later updates on Alabama's weather. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great Sunday and Godspeed.